Hey guys, welcome back to Hanging Out with Lori. How are you today? I am good. Thank you. I am wearing pink in honor of today's Fragrance Friday. We are talking about an oldie but goodie. Fragrance Friday was started because I love fragrance and I'm so I am so excited, although I don't know if I can talk. I am so excited that it is growing. Um, Free the Tomatoes now has a Fragrance Friday, Reads Beauty Trip, does Fragrance Friday, and Glitter Bling Bling on Instagram also does Fragrance Friday. So go check out Janine, Tara, and Mel and see what fragrance they are doing for Fragrance Friday. I like watching them because I, I'm learning new information about fragrances from them and I love it. I just love it. So make sure you go check them out. Today we are talking about Aquilina's Pink Sugar. Yes, I am talking about Pink Sugar. Now mine has always had um, the juice a little um, yellow. I've never thought anything of it. Some people say theirs is clear and once it discolors, it's bad. Mine has always been this color. I think if it got like really thick brown, I would worry, but I've always known it to be this color. So let me know in the comments, has yours been clear juice or has yours been a little off colored as well? Now, pink sugar, is a scent that you either love or you hate. I don't know many people who are in the in-between category. I bought Pink Sugar because I heard all this great things about it, how it smelled like cotton candy. And I'm like, how do they make cotton candy scented perfume? So I purchased this Eau de Toilette off a Groupon of all places. I got it for really cheap. I think I paid like $7 for this. Um, and this is the 50 mil. So I got a good deal. When I was researching it, this, it ranged from $8 up to $60 for a bottle of pink sugar. It blew me away. So while I will list places that you can buy it, like Sephora and Ulta, that's more expensive. It's on the discount websites, perfume websites. It's at TJ Maxx and Marshalls and Ross. I would suggest you just pick them up there. Save yourself some money if it's something that interests you. Now, Pink Sugar was created by Aquilina in 2004. And the story behind Pink Sugar is, I'm going to read it to you because I do not want to screw up. Pink Sugar is a fragrance that evokes sensuality, gentleness, and passion. It takes you on a fabulous journey through fairyland, returning you to the pleasures and flavors of childhood. It's also quoted as being a fragrance for young girls who like sweets. I'm not a young girl. This is definitely a gourmand fragrance. But when they say that it evokes sensuality and gentleness and passion, I'm not sure I could I can go there with pink sugar. It just it does not invoke those kind of thoughts and feelings um, for me. Doesn't mean it doesn't mean it doesn't for others, but for me, I don't get a sensuality out of it. I do not get a passion or a gentleness. This is a pretty loud eau de toilette. It. I have two sprays on. You guys know that I'm a heavy sprayer. I have two sprays on and it has enveloped me. Um, I'm not complaining, but it is, 
a louder eau de toilette. Its longevity is very, um, very long. I like to wear pink sugar to bed because it's very soothing to me. It's very comforting. It's kind of like a warm blanket is wrapped around me. So I like to wear pink sugar to bed. I also like to layer it when I need something kind of with a vanilla or gourmand base. I like to layer um, pink sugar underneath just to give the other fragrance um, a little staying power, a little um, more leg, something to hold it in place. Pink sugar is great for that. And why I say that is because to me, pink sugar is just kind of a one note scent. It, it isn't, we'll go over the notes in just a minute, but to my nose, I get burnt sugar, I get thick, gooey um, goodness. Some people say it's caramel. I don't get a caramel presence. I do get a burnt sugar. I get vanilla. Something a little buttery, a little thicker, sweeter. Um, kind of something you can sink your teeth into. Maybe that is caramel. It's not what my brain associates with it, but as I'm describing it, it makes me think of my mom's caramels, so maybe it is. You know, because they're heavy with butter and sugar and vanilla and just really, really good. So when I was researching this, I got lots of differing notes from different websites. And I was really surprised because to me, this is really a one note wonder. And let me give you the notes. First sight, bergamot, Sicilian orange, and fig leaves are the top notes. The middle is lily of the valley, licorice blossom, and red fruits. Then the base is vanilla, caramel, woody notes, and musk. That was the first sight. Another sight, cotton candy, strawberry, raspberry, and orange are the top notes. The middle is lily of the valley, fig leaves, barba papa, and then the base is vanilla, amber, musk, and woods. And another site, Sicilian orange, raspberry, fig leaves, lily of the valley, licorice, strawberry, red fruit, cotton candy, barba papa, vanilla, caramel, musk, wood, and powder. So there are some similarities between them, but there's also differences. Like the powder, I wasn't expecting that. I wasn't expecting lily of the valley. I wasn't expecting any type of citrus. At the beginning, what I smell, kind of a celery note. There's a, there's kind of a watery celery note mixed in with all that burnt sugar vanilla goodness. And then from there, I never get that again. I just get a, you know, a fair thoroughfare. You know, when you go to the fair and you walk through, I don't know what they're called, the, I want to say causeway, but I'm thinking that's wrong. But where all the food vendors are, it has all that, kind of that smell where the funnel cakes are made and the cotton candy is and the caramel apples, all of that scent is wrapped up into pink sugar in my head. So I don't get fruity notes. I don't get citrus notes. I don't get floral notes. I don't get woody notes, musk. Now, I talked about Barba Papa. It is a French word that's 
Its literal translation is dad's beard. But it's it stands for cotton candy. So the description that has cotton candy and Barba Papa in it kind of was redundant to my mind. <laughs> but that is what Barba Papa is. It's cotton candy, but its little literal translation is dad's beard. And when you think of it, I can see how cotton candy can kind of take on that look. So cotton candy is really a note in here. And I never knew that. I just thought people said it smelled like cotton candy. I didn't realize that they actually had a synthetic note that was cotton candy. So that was kind of interesting for me. Now, one of the notes, all three of them talk about fig leaves being a note. And I like, I like the smell of figs. I like the juiciness of figs, the kind of sweetness. But what do fig leaves smell like? Well, the fig leaves have a similar scent to the fruit, but it lacks kind of their syrupy, fruity quality that the fruit has. They're, they're greener, obviously, since they are the leaves. They're very sharp. And they kind of have a sappy um, scent profile. So when I think of sap, I think of pine sap. That's really how I associate sap and how it, it's kind of sticky sweet with kind of a woody um, pine note to it. That's what I think of with sap. Now, you know, if figly fig trees give off sap, I highly doubt they would have a pine scent, but they might have more of a, a sweeter scent because of the fruit. That's possible. That's just, I've never smelled, I have never been around a fig tree before, so I do not have an answer to that. But fig leaves also give off a soapy scent. I do not get any type of powder um, vibe on this fragrance. I don't get a soapiness. I really get burnt sugar and just a hint of celery at the beginning. And I, you know how celery has that aquatic fresh smell? That's what I get. It took me forever to figure out what I was you know, smelling, what my brain was saying I was smelling. So that is pink sugar. Like I said, this is an eau de toilette that lasts for ages. You know, they say it's for young girls, but I'm not young and I bought this in my 40s and I love pink sugar. You know, it does have a synthetic quality about it. When you first spray it, then it warms up and it isn't um, kind of off-putting. Because I would say the first few minutes, there's that synthetic vibe really um, is overpowering. And then when the notes start to warm up on your skin, then it no longer has that synthetic vibe. It's just really lush and creamy and yummy and goodness and makes me really hungry. It makes me want to go to the carnival or the circus or the fair. I just want Breezeway food. Is that what it's called? Breezeway? That's what I want when I smell pink sugar. So that is today's Fragrance Friday. Make sure you go check out Janine, Tara, and Mel. You guys take good care. Be safe and I will see you on the next one.